Welcome to the Eddy Zone. In today's video, we're going to talk about five hidden GitHub secrets. Well, they're not so hidden, but most people don't know. Even for the ones that I think are more obvious today, most people don't know about them, and it will make your life so much easier. So let's get straight into it. Hi, my name's Eddie, and recently I was in the top 500 open source contributors in the world and trended with organizations like Facebook, Twitter, and Microsoft and Google. What does that mean? That allows me to pick my clients, that allows me to work remotely from the beach in Portugal to my command center in London to the beach in Thailand, all over the world. And I want to share with you how I've done this. If you'd like to learn more about how I've done this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Tip number one is when reviewing a pull request, you can actually not only write a comment in the line where you want to make a suggestion or feedback, but you can also make the change. The person's pull request who it is will get the suggestion and they can choose if they want to accept it. Rather than them making a new commit, they can just accept the suggestion. It just makes that reviewing, pull, raising pull requests, reviewing pull requests a lot more streamlined. You should use this a lot. At the moment, it only works for one line suggestions. Tip suggestion two, did you know that each repo has its own project board? And by project board, I mean like a Trello or a Jira board. And it ties really well with the code changes, with issues, with milestones. It's really great. I'm surprised more people don't use it. You'll see you get these different columns and they have preset columns and you can add and change your own columns. As you can see, you can see add column here. You can even put rules on columns when things happen, they move automatically to the right columns and vice versa. But I've kept it really simple. I've got my to do in progress, blocked, in review and done. Brilliant, you don't need another platform. You don't need Trello, you don't need Jira. You have everything within GitHub. And that works really well because it ties in with your code, your branching, your milestones, your labels, all in one place. I highly recommend using this more. Tip number three, it's been around a long time, is the wiki page. Uh, in the wiki section, you have this whole area where you can make pages, add links, sidebars, footers. And at the end of the day, it's just a GitHub repo. So you can clone it, work with it offline and push it back up. It is brilliant. I highly recommend using this. It is really good. If I'm honest, I've actually started using the wiki a little bit less because I put a docs folder in my repo instead of using the wiki. That allows me to run CI and build my docs into PDFs or Word documents and put a version against it. So if someone says, hey, I was reading your documentation in this PDF website, I can say, well, what version is it? And they can look at the bottom and it says version 1.2.3. Whereas the wiki is version because it's a GitHub repo, but I don't know what version someone was reading. Tip number four, did you know that GitHub now has a beta version that allows you to sponsor your favorite contributor? And 100% of that money goes to the contributor. Unlike these other platforms like Patreon, etc., that take a huge commission out of the money, GitHub take zero, nothing. It's all for the contributor you're trying to support. So I highly recommend using GitHub. There is actually a waiting list at the moment and you can sponsor people. Zero fees, 100% to the developers. That's amazing, right? Tip number five, did you know that GitHub has GitHub Learning Labs? It's a bit like Udemy, allows you to have courses and take courses and get badges and so forth. It is really, really good. I've only recently discovered it and it's not just great for learning, it's also great for teaching. You can put your courses on there. Just using some YAML files, you can create rules, it hooks in with GitHub when certain pull requests or commits are done, it ties in, it sets up a base repo for the person learning under their GitHub account. It's really good. If you'd like me to put a course on there for open source, getting you into open source or getting into Angular, Firebase, Python different development, anything like that, let me know, but do check this out, it looks brilliant. I will do a video on actually taking a course, I will do a video on setting up a course. Let me know what you think uh, and leave a comment below. Don't forget, if you enjoy my content, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, it's free, and share with your friends. I really appreciate it, I'll see you in the next video.